world of plants too. Children, I am back again. There are many aspects about me that you still need to know. In the previous video, you had learned about living and non-living things and also that living things require food to survive. You also learned that plants make their own food, which is called autotrophic nutrition. In this video, we will talk about the other two types of plant nutrition. Let us go back to Nilu and Minu again to know more about the nutrition of plants. The objective of this video is to learn about the type of heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Nilu, it was so tiring today. Library science practicals, game period. It is so hot. Will you help me? What is it, Didi? Remember, I had asked you to keep the sweet bun in the box there. Can you give it to me to eat? You can eat it later. Didi, look at this first. The plant I had watered has become so big in 10 days time. Come soon. Oh God, wait, I'm coming. Wow, it looks really green and healthy. Look at the big leaves. This plant seems to be getting a lot of sunshine and a lot of nutrition as well. It is true that plants make their food with the help of sunlight, carbon dioxide, water and lots of minerals. Do you know when we went to the library at the school? I had read a very interesting book, World of Plants. It was written in that book that there are some plants which cannot cook their own food. Didi, it is surprising. Do they have no leaves? You are right. The school bell rang, so I could not read the entire information. But it was written that they do not have leaves. Does this mean that like us humans, they depend on others for food? This means that when there are no leaves, there is no chlorophyll. You are right. It is surprising that we depend on plants and animals for our food, but there are some plants which depend on someone else for their nutrition. I'm hungry. Let's eat something first. What are you reading, Didi? I brought the book World of Plants from the library today. Nilu, come here and sit. It has quite interesting facts about plants. Didi, we were talking yesterday about plants that do not make their own food. Tell me more about that. Look at this plant. It is the plant named corpus flower. It is a plant that relies on food made by other plants. It shows heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Such lazy plants. Are such plants parasitic? <laughs> yes, corpus flower plant along with other plants like cascuta are parasites. These plants are called parasites because they depend on the host plant and get nutrients from them. These plants have turned out to be very intelligent. They do not even need to work. You know, they don't kill the host plants. The food, nutrients or water comes from them, isn't it? Children, can you tell why some plants that have green leaves and do photosynthesis do not make their own food? Didi, look at this plant. It has green leaves. Why is it in the category of plants that use heterotrophic nutrition? Yes, this is a good observation. Some plants have leaves but are still dependent on others for food. But why? Look at this plant. 
These structures look like jugs. Didi, look, there are insects on this plant. Looks like these plants eat insects. This plant is called a pitcher plant. These are called insectivorous plants. But it does have leaves. Can it not make its own food? These plants grow in low nutrient soils and by digesting insects, they make up for their nutritional deficiency. It means that some plants eat insects. Didi, this is very interesting. I am very hungry. I forgot to eat the sweet bun yesterday. Can you get it? Oh, I forgot. It is in that box. I'll just come. Oh ho, this is spoiled, Didi. Some white growth is on it and it smells bad. You must have kept this bun in a damp container. Oh ho, Didi. Remember, we once saw such a white growth even on pickles. Mother said it was called fungus. Now I remember. Yes, it is called fungus. These are actually plants that are taking nutrients from bread. Such nutrition is called saprotrophic nutrition. These are plants that thrive on decaying substances or spoiled material. Didi, where do these come from? They are actually present in the air. They do not come by any magic or miracle. When they land on moist substances, they reproduce and grow. I learned so much today. I shall go and play now. Children, can you imagine how fungi eat decaying matter? In this video, you learned about three types of heterotrophic nutrition. The parasitic nutrition, insectivorous nutrition, and saprotrophic nutrition. Did you know that plants need the right type of minerals to grow to their proper size? What will happen if plants do not get enough carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen? Their development will stop. Nitrogen is not directly available to plants. At any given time, Nitrogen in the soil is found either in plant and animal remains in relatively stable soil organic matter or in living soil organisms, mainly microbes such as bacteria. Some nitrogen amounts may also be present in urea, which may be available to plants in small quantities. We will learn about this in the next video. Till then, I take your leave.